Hey guys, on today's video, we're gonna be installing some RAM on this iMac. So the RAM that I got is this one right here. It's just an upgrade. It doesn't really matter what RAM you guys have. This is the exact same way to install all of them. Make sure it just, it's compatible. So the RAM that I have right now, it's in this case right here. Now, before you touch your RAM or anything on your computer, make sure you got no static on your hands. So maybe touch some wood or anything like that so you won't have any static on your hands. So once again, this is the RAM that I'm gonna be installing on this iMac. Doesn't really matter, again, how much RAM. So I'm installing right now 16 gigs and another 16 gigs. So that's gonna be add on to the four gigs that I already have installed in there. So I'm gonna go ahead and on the back of your iMac, just make sure it's turned off and everything, unplug it. Um, what I like to do is also press the power button a few times before I get on with this. However, there's no real need to do that, it's just in case. And down here, you guys will notice there's a button, okay? Now, you need to press that button in order to open up this door. So it's a button right above where you would plug in your iMac, okay? So that's the button right here. I'm just gonna press on it. And if you got chubbier fingers like me, <laughs> then you would need something else to press on it until that just pops out like so. So I'm just gonna take that out and my RAM will be in there. So I already have two slots filled up, which is exactly how it should be. That's how your Macs usually come from factory. Unless you had some upgrades already done, that's how it would look. Then there's two pins on the side that we're gonna press and we're gonna press them outwards and then this just pops like so. So all I did was press them outwards. Okay, and there's the slots, so I'm just gonna at this point in time, you guys could take out whatever's in there and just replace with the ones that you guys have. However, right now I'm just gonna place them in and I will take out one just so you guys can see how it is to take one out. All I have to do is just pull it out with both of my hands. So this part I can't really show you it's so tight in there. But if I pull this out, pull it all the way and just make sure this RAM, this is the original RAM, I'm gonna keep it in this case because I'm just adding more RAM, I'm not taking this out and replacing it. So I'm just gonna move it down one slot. Not that I need to, but I can. And to place it back in, just press on it. There you go, there will be no clipping sound or anything like that, as long as it's tight in there, you're, it's good enough. Now, when you're placing your new RAM, it's pretty easy to know which way it's gonna go. So see, one end is a little bit longer than the other. So this longer end would be on your right side. So here are all my ports, for example, that's my left side. My right side would be where my power button is on my iMac. And I'm just gonna place this in here. I'm just gonna push it right through. There we go, should have heard something. It's not really a clicking sound, but something. I'm gonna place the other one right on top of it. And I do see the inserts right there. See where I can place them. It's just a matter of knowing how, and I just showed you how. There we go, nice and tight. Again, there's no clicking sound. All I have to do is just to press on it and make sure it's nice and tight. I'm gonna do that for all of them. Just press on them. So I'm holding with one hand, and then the other one, I'm just pushing through just to make sure everything's nice and tight. So to put it back in, I have to press outwards a little bit again. So pressing outwards on these two handles and just pressing outwards until they're in and then letting go. And there you go. As long as you let go, it's all good. All we have to do is just put this back in. Now this tells you exactly on the back how to do this. So if you're wondering, oh, am I supposed to do this? It kind of tells you right here, you have to press outwards, it goes in, that's pretty much it. And then we can just place this again Right here, just gonna press on it. And there we go. So right now we're done with the installation. We can turn on our Mac, just make sure that it actually detects everything and you should be good. Again, you do have to buy RAM that's compatible with your Mac. So once I turn on my iMac, on the top left hand side, I'm gonna see an Apple logo. Just click on your Apple logo. 
and click on the very first option where it says about this Mac. Once you click there, your fourth option will say memory. That's exactly where we have to go in order to see that in fact, it can detect the RAM that we just installed. So in this case, it was 16 gigs, 16 gigs, and I still have the four gigs, four gigs that I had from before. So right now I can confirm that it is detecting and everything's running okay. I can also run a hardware test if I see any glitches or maybe something's happening or just in case. So that's also an option to run after installing this. However, for most of you, this is it, you're done. Congrats, you just installed RAM and it was that easy. Anyways, that would be it for this video. If you guys have any questions, comments, you guys can write down here in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.